Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cleveland State University's 75th commencement exercise. My name is Jian Ping Zhu, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Today marks our second virtual commencement. I'm delighted that you can join us to celebrate the remarkable accomplishments of the Cleveland State University Fall Class of 2020. We all know the Fall Class of 2020 have been dealing with the unprecedented challenges. Yet your courage and the perseverance have prevailed. You have overcome daunting challenges and are now across the important finish line. Congratulations. As we celebrate the remarkable accomplishments of our graduating seniors, I would like to recognize our university valedictorian, Audrey Atzo. Audrey is a veteran and graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Sciences. She is graduating summa cum laude with a 3.92 GPA and is currently pursuing a Master of Science degree in Environmental Science. You will hear from Audrey in just a few minutes. I also want to take this opportunity to recognize our faculty and the staff's dedication to student success and their outstanding efforts to continue to deliver a quality education under extremely challenging circumstances. It is truly a team effort to help our fall class of 2020 cross this important finish line. Now it is my pleasure to introduce President Harlan Sands to address the fall class of 2020. Greetings, graduates. I'm Harlan Sands, President of Cleveland State University. And on behalf of our entire administration, faculty, and staff at CSU, it is my distinct honor and privilege to welcome you to our second virtual commencement. While it may not be the commencement you envisioned when you began your journey here, we are still here to recognize and celebrate your success. This once in a century pandemic threw us a little bit of a curveball, but you responded with focus, resilience, and determination. Today, we honor the achievements of more than 1,800 undergraduate, graduate, and doctoral students, making this one of the largest graduating classes in the 56-year history of Cleveland State. Let me state the obvious. To begin, there is nowhere I'd rather be than in the Wallstein Center, doing this live, shaking 1,800 hands and using two full bottles of hand sanitizer over eight hours. I want nothing more than to give you the graduation you so richly deserve, to give you the opportunity to celebrate with your parents, grandparents, children, and families as you walk across that stage and wave and get the shout outs that you have earned. But our world, unfortunately, and your senior year didn't turn out quite the way we planned. So today we will honor all of you by sharing some thoughts with you. Four things I'd like to start with. All of them you certainly can take away from your time at CSU and feel proud of what you have done. First, a sense of discovery. Think back to your early days and weeks on campus, how new it all was. Think about how far you have come, what you've learned, not just academically, but about yourself and the broader world, about the distance between who you were then and who you are now. Second, a sense of growth, personal growth, emotional growth, intellectual growth. The ability to see the world from new and different perspectives, to have empathy for others, to understand that we continue to grow as human beings our whole lives. Third, a sense of community. By attending Cleveland State, you became part of something much larger, our CSU family. You saw firsthand the diverse views and life experiences of other students, faculty, and staff, and all of this enriched your time here. And today you join more than 140,000, more than 140,000 global CSU alumni as a Viking for life. So welcome. And last and most appropriate for today, I hope you feel a sense of monumental achievement. You've accomplished something truly remarkable. Many of you may be the first in your family to graduate from college or to achieve an advanced degree. Many of you may have supported yourself through some or all of your time at CSU by holding down a job or two or three, by squeezing in your studying at all hours of the day and night, by raising a family at the same time, 
Many of you are graduating with honors. Please raise your hand right now and scream yes if any of this describes you. Come on, I wanna hear it. And you certainly have earned it. And then, as you were less than a year from graduating, we shut it down for your own safety. We told you to go to your computers to graduate, and you did it. Without fanfare, you did it from your homes, you did it sometimes without being fully dressed, but you did it. You did it absent your friends, without direct contact from your family, and far from members of your extended family. And for that, all of us are grateful because we need each and every one of you now more than ever. We need business leaders, artists, engineers, historians, people who write, healthcare professionals. But the critical piece of this is what you bring to the table, and it's what we do best at CSU, your ability to be a critical thinker. Individuals who can take what is happening around them and create new paths forward, generate new ideas, for, forge new collaborations that lead to transformational growth. And that's who you are. How do I know this? Because of our special brand of engaged learning at Cleveland State. Because of the way each and every one of you reacted to how you were tested. You did not stop. You never surrendered. You closed the deal. And although you are entering a very different world from what you expected, it's a world that needs you. And as you wade through these uncharted waters, three final pieces of advice. Always be a lifelong learner, question everything. Remember that every day is a new day. Leave the past behind. It is the key to resilience. And last, always remember where you started and where you came from. And that means us, your university, your family at CSU. We salute the great class of 2020, the class that never, ever gave up. Thank you all and enjoy the rest of today's commencement. Go Vikings. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Board of Trustees at Cleveland State, I want to congratulate you on this wonderful achievement. It's an honor to be here virtually today with all of you. It's been a challenging time for you this past year, but clearly you've made it through and are ready to take the next steps toward what I'm certain is a promising future. You are to be commended for rising to meet the challenges placed before you, whether brought on by the pandemic or life circumstances. Last spring, you pivoted and moved to online learning, and then you pivoted again when we expanded our campus footprint in the fall with a combination of remote and in-person instruction. You've demonstrated a resilience, a flexibility, and a determination that will carry you far. You showed personal responsibility by taking measures to keep yourself and your fellow Vikings safe. And that says so much about your character and sense of personal responsibility. As a Cleveland State graduate, you are armed with the skills, knowledge, and ability to tackle any challenge. Out of challenge, opportunity arises. And I know you will take your degree from Cleveland State, this amazing stamp of approval, and make the most of every opportunity before you. Your family has had to adjust, and you've had to adjust this past year. But now with your degree in hand, you move forward to the workforce or to pursue another degree with confidence, strength, and knowledge that you've been prepared by a wonderful school. Graduation is an exciting time. It marks both an ending and a beginning. It's warm memories of the past and big dreams for the future. When you think about the last four years, you'll probably remember that your greatest lessons came from outside the classroom. It's a good reminder that learning doesn't stop just because you receive a diploma. Start each day believing in your dreams. Know without a doubt that you were made for great things. Keep learning, keep trying, keep accomplishing, and keep venturing on through your journey. Learning every day is ultimately the key to success. Don't ever stop learning, dreaming, and achieving. The future holds no promises, but rather mysteries and surprises. What you've learned will prepare you for both. I want to leave you with a quote from Sheryl Sandberg of Facebook. There is no straight path from your seat today to where you are going. Don't try to draw that line. You will not just get it wrong, you'll miss big opportunities. And I mean big, like the internet. Careers are not ladders, those days are long gone. But jungle gyms, don't just move up and down. Don't just look up, look backwards, sideways, around corners. 
Your career and your life will have starts and stops and zigs and zags. Don't stress out about the white space, the path that you can't draw, because therein lies both the surprises and the opportunities. Again, I'd like to congratulate you for what you've done over the past years, and I hope one day to shake your hand and pat you on the back. But until that time, take this degree, do great things, and be proud to be a Viking. This has been a heck of a year for all of us, but here we are. We made it, and we are graduating. We did it, and we were successful in a pandemic with uncertain political times and through complete disruption of our normalcies. You should all be so proud of yourselves and your accomplishments through such difficult times. It takes so much strength and perseverance to succeed through such chaos, and every one of you should give yourself a standing ovation. I'd like to share with you a little of my own journey. When I was young, my mother moved almost every year of my life where I had to constantly change schools. I did not complete high school due to the constant upheaval and instability in my life. When I was 17, I obtained my GED. I pursued higher education while working at Starbucks and earned an associate's degree in crime scene technology at St. Petersburg Community College in St. Petersburg, Florida. After I earned my associate's degree, I entered the US Coast Guard where I served almost four years. I left the service due to sustained debilitating injuries. After the service, I felt lost, and I went back to Starbucks for a short while while searching for better employment. I got my first government job with the IRS, which led me to a position at the VA. But then I realized how unhappy I was, sitting at a desk all day, not doing something I was passionate about. So after two years, I put aside my fear of going back to college as a 30-year-old student and applied to Cleveland State University. With the help of my vocational rehabilitation counselor at the VA, Rachel Temblin, and all of her encouragement, I used my veteran's benefits to obtain my bachelor's degree. Getting my BS allows me to finally pursue my dream of working for the National Park Service or a similar agency. My passion for natural science, such as ecology and biology, has enabled me to rise above the disabilities I incurred in the service and succeed in my passions and dreams. I never thought I'd go back to school after I left the military. I'm a disabled veteran. I was afraid to be too old, not perform well enough, or that my disabilities would lead me to fail. I could never have done this without the amazing love and support from my wife, Laura Atzel. She has been there for me and has been the best partner anyone could ask for. Cleveland State was the best choice I could have made because the instructors and atmosphere enabled me to believe in myself and excel in areas that I never thought I would. I wanna thank Dr. Wolin, Dr. Walton, and Dr. Mueller for all of your support during my undergraduate studies. You were all such an inspiration, and I had so much fun and learned so many valuable skills in your classes. I am now embarking on a new academic journey as a graduate student with Cleveland State University. I could not have taken this last step without the help of Dr. Emily Rauschert. She took the time out of her busy schedule to help me become a graduate student and move on to the next level of my academic journey. I'm excited for what the future holds. I hope you are too, as we all should be, as we embark on a new exciting journey and write new chapters of our lives. My greetings to President Sands, members of the Board of Trustees, friends and family of the graduates, and to the Cleveland State University Class of 2020. Congratulations to all the graduates. This is your big day. You're earning your degree today despite obstacles big and small that you've had to face along the way. A recent and rather large obstacle is one none of us expected, the coronavirus pandemic. COVID-19 has taken the lives of Ohioans and changed, at least for the near future, our way of life. We will certainly never, ever forget this time. We know it's not been easy getting here, but what you have done amid the backdrop of this pandemic is really extraordinary. You clearly have what it takes, intelligence, resilience, and determination. And now you stand with the degree in hand, ready to begin the next chapter in your lives. Before COVID-19, when you thought of the milestone of graduation, I'm sure you did not picture a virtual ceremony. These are extraordinary times and Ohio is grateful for the sacrifices that you and your families are making to keep everyone healthy. The class of 2020 has learned many lessons in and outside of the classroom. 
Here are a few. First, out of every challenge, opportunity arises. When the pandemic closed your campus in the spring, you pivoted and transitioned to remote instruction. I'm sure it wasn't always easy, but you worked alongside the administration, faculty, and your fellow students to forge ahead. When your campus reopened in the fall, you acted responsibly, followed protocols that were put in place to protect you and your campus community. You took personal responsibility and held yourselves and others accountable. You demonstrated an understanding of collaboration and teamwork, both of which will be crucial to your lifelong success. Second, be kind. You know that so many Ohioans have lost so much in 2020. When you meet someone, I know you will ask one more question. Listen for one more minute and seek to understand because we truly are all in this together. Third, show gratitude and give back with purpose. While you faced many challenges this past year, celebrate what you have accomplished. Take the time to thank those who helped you get to this point because none of us does this alone. Remember what the support you received meant and extend your hand to bring someone else along. I believe this crisis will shape all of us and I'm certain has made the class of 2020 particularly extraordinary. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of you and best wishes. Hello, I'm Mayor Frank Jackson. I want to congratulate Cleveland State University class of 2020 on your graduation. I know that this is not in the traditional mode, but I want to remind you that your work and your accomplishment is not diminished because of that. So congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Dr. Cliff McGarrian, president of University Hospitals, the region's second largest employer. To help ensure high quality health care continues in our community, UH has made a commitment to educate our next generation of medical professionals. We are proud to have a collaborative relationship with CSU that runs deep. Not only does UH currently employ hundreds of CSU grads, but we have launched a nursing education initiative to increase the number of baccalaureate degree nurses who will enter the workforce each year. We focused on the nursing arena in particular to help address the nationwide nursing shortage. But we have many other job opportunities beyond the nursing sphere within University Hospital's health system. As you venture out into the workforce, I hope you will consider UH when conducting your job search. I'm a history buff, and without a doubt, the graduating classes of 2020 will be revered in the future for the resilience you have shown. You have inspired, sought justice, quickly adapted, expressed empathy, and demonstrated agility, intangible skills that describe excellent leaders. More now than ever, businesses need fast thinkers who can pivot on a moment's notice. Technology has pushed us there. To facilitate innovation, we need to look beyond traditional alliances, creating pathways for collaboration. For example, UH teamed up with NASA recently to create a new infection control mechanism. A year ago, we would not have imagined that scientists focused on space exploration could help us solve healthcare challenges. 2020 has also taught us that transparency and accountability are paramount. And so I will end with one final thought. I'm being transparent in telling you the next several months will be critical in our fight against the coronavirus. And while there has been positive news about vaccine development, no one knows exactly when those vaccines will be ready for widespread use. So in the meantime, I'm asking you to be accountable within your own social circles to spread the word that everyone must remain vigilant, take precautions and follow public health orders. The power to do what is right is in your hands. Wearing a face mask is our best chance at slowing the surging COVID-19 pandemic right now. So mask up and congratulations class of 2020. The future is yours for the taking. Hello and congratulations to the class of 2020. 
It is an honor to address you virtually on this special day in your lives. Your commencement takes place at a time when we have all made sacrifices. Yet, there are many reasons for optimism that the future will be bright. You have received an education from one of the top universities in the state. As a generation of graduates, you are among the most diverse and technologically advanced. Your parents, families, educators and friends expect great things from you. So does your community. Those of you who remain here in Northeast Ohio will take part in shaping the health and prosperity of this region. Some of you may even become a colleague. As the largest employer in Ohio, Cleveland Clinic is also the largest employer of graduates from Cleveland State University. I hope you consider joining our noble profession in the years to come. Congratulations once again on this great achievement. I wish all of you good fortune and success. In 1986, at the age of 22 years old, I found myself without any direction. I had made countless poor decisions, bad choice after bad choice after bad choice. What resulted was I had been dismissed from two of Ohio's leading universities. The first one having attended on a full academic scholarship. The second having achieved in my final semester a grade point average of 0.75. I was truly lost. I was what you would call a non-traditional student. Many of my friends and peers had gone the way of drugs, alcohol, some had been incarcerated, and even at that early age, some had even passed away. What was I to do? I agonized over the next nine years trying to decide what did I want to be when I grew up, and also worried about what college institution would give me that third and final chance. Actually, 10 years after having been dismissed from that second university, I revisited and they still wouldn't let me come back. But then came Cleveland State University. They gave me that third and final opportunity. And guess what? It was truly a blessing for me. Over the past 25 years, I've spent time, which has culminated into a career as a senior executive in human resources, inclusion, diversity, and equity. While I'm proud of what I've accomplished, I realize that none of that would be possible without Cleveland State University. When I was admitted into Cleveland State, I recall a professor asking me to give my time, my talent, and my treasure back to the university once I graduated. And guess what, that's what I've done. I currently serve as chair for the visiting committee for the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. My connection to this university is real, in fact, my family and I have set up an endowment so students of color in the future have an opportunity to learn, grow, and develop, just as I did at Cleveland State University. Now it's your turn. You've graduated, congratulations to you. But I challenge you with what are you going to do next? Cleveland State afforded you a great opportunity. It's now time for you to give back as well. I challenge you, your time, your talent, your treasure. Give that back to this great university that gave you an opportunity, just as it did myself. Again, my hat's off to you. Congratulations, you've done this while battling two pandemics. Again, my hat's off to you. All the best, thank you. Stacy Alderman, magna cum laude. Barbette Nicole Allen, cum laude. Lydia M. Alvarez Stilla. David A. Armstrong. Shamir Ashley, magna cum laude. Kamar Atala. Jason Philip Berry. Alicia N. Biggers, magna cum laude. So thankful to be receiving my bachelor's degree in nursing. 
This degree is for my two sons, Cameron and Christian. I love you. Christina M. Bona. George Basica. Kristen Elizabeth Britton. Tara K. Brown. Kayla J. Burnworth, cum laude. Tracy Allen Cairns. Christina K. Carter. Enid Chaponda. David Ching. Kimberly A. Clark. Taryn Collymore. Megan Althea Calhoun. Dana Michelle Cook. Nicole Charlize Cooper. Daniela Dore Corbin. Jacqueline DeMattis, cum laude. Carrie D. Desi. Congratulations, class of 2020. I would especially like to thank my nursing class and all my family members and friends, especially my mom. This degree would not be possible without them. Thank you and I love you all. Gita Dungana. Francesca Diaz, cum laude. Lisa Marie Dre. Brandy Lee Issa. Sarah Eastburn, magna cum laude. Erica Elvidge, cum laude. Christina Marie Izinski. Remy Rose Fababe, cum laude. Molly Fraser. Jamie Lynn Gerard. Basim Gerges. My name is Basim Gerges. I'm glad to be graduated from CSU School of Nursing. I would like to thank my family for their support. Shelia N. Harris. Jessica Lynn Higginbotham. Woohoo, class of 2020, we did it. I just want to send a special shout out to my husband, Michael, and our children, Jess, Leah, Jared, and Jenna. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Mwah. Trina Hodap, summa cum laude. Corwin A. Hoffman. Grace Hostler. James R. Hostler. Nicole Rachel Jirasek. Alyssa R. John. Kayla Johnson. Jenea Elise Jones, summa cum laude. Patricia L. Carr. Baljinderdeep Carr. Laura Honey Kekula. Christine King. Christopher Thomas Klimek. Jesse Knapp, cum laude. Daniela Kofinas, cum laude. 
Jacqueline K. Kokinda Shannon Cecilia Kosak Mindy M. Laos Kimberly Helene Legarth Andre Magura Megan Marie Manning Sarah K. Martin Mark Martucci Adrian Masick Mauricio Marcelo Fernandez, cum laude Jordan Page McGee Ashley Nicole McKay Amber Lynette Miller, cum laude Lindsay Miller Mary Ferry Moore Rachel Ann Musser Jocelyn Nelson, cum laude Tiffany P. Negrin Amrita Paul, summa cum laude Kritika Paul, cum laude Tangela Denise Peavy Charia Fong, cum laude Kayla Brittany Pittman, cum laude Marie Ranallo Lauren Ray Walls Jessica Taylor Reichard Joseph Riesinger Sarah Risch Catherine A. Rutkowski Lisa Ann Schmidt Rachel Schmidt, magna cum laude Malka Schwartz, summa cum laude Tyler Marie Scott Kyra Scurry Ayishetu M. Seydu Akira Sharif Nicole Sheets Micah Nathaniel Simpson Haley Lynn Smith Talitha Smith, summa cum laude David William Spivak Michelle Venique Stewart I'm truly thankful to all the support from family, friends, loved ones, near and far. Jenny Stiles, summa cum laude Ashley Streski, summa cum laude Ashley Marie Strimple Jennifer A. Svek Sage Tagazer, cum laude Nicole Marie Tancredi Benjamin Leroy Taylor 
Lindsay Thompson. Nicholas Thorne. Aaron Daniel Tidwell. Cassandra Townsend, magna cum laude. Antoinette Chega, magna cum laude. Dustin Vandervoort, summa cum laude. Lisa Lynn Visniai. Megan Joe Volinsky. Emily Judith Wallace. Brian Keith Ward. Jillian Marjorie Warren. Margaret Washtock. Bridget Marie Wassel. Caitlin M. Whirling. Kimberly Wigan, summa cum laude. Rachel Marie Wood. Lisa Marie Wright. Brittany E. Young. Donette M. Zastawanek. Catherine Cameron Zito.